Hi everyone, happy Halloween. I hope everyone is getting ready to take out their little ghosts, the little goblins, the little tiny ones that are just too cute to spook. I hope everyone has a happy and safe Halloween. I'm actually filming this on Sunday night so I can post it on Halloween. So actually we're gonna have a little bit of wine tonight, a little bit of dinner, a little bit of Halloween things. So I hope that you guys stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Happy Halloween everyone. We made it through the end of October. You guys were absolute rock stars. You came through for me on every video. I had such a great time dressing up in costume and doing these videos for you guys and well for me too because it's just fun to dress up. It shouldn't just be for kids. I think part of keeping young is staying young at heart and dressing up and just having fun whether you go out of the house or not you guys you guys rock i am continually amazed and so thankful and so blessed to have you guys in my life so thank you from the bottom of my heart to show my appreciation at the end of this video i'm going to just do a little giveaway for you guys and it's not much but it's just my way of thanking you and showing you how much i appreciate you if you are new to my channel i hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over there i'd love to have you come back and join us for future videos so halloween we made it through the month it's so much fun i actually did another video today but i don't know if i'm gonna have time to, i'm not gonna have time to post it so it was just some empties don't know if i will leave it the way I, I did it and show it next month in costume or if i will just redo it so it's just plain a boring old me again but anyway it was fun so anyway if you were getting ready to go trick-or-treating with your little ones your ghosts your goblins your little witches the ones that are just too cute to spook i hope you guys go out have an amazing time i hope they get lots of treats no tricks everyone stays happy and safe and just has a remarkable night take some pictures so that you can always look back and remember these days those are the best days so part of the thing for october was i went online to different wine places that shipped to me and i got some fun late wine labels that were like halloween themed and things like that just kind of spooky a little bit of fun a little different and i thought i had an amazing amazing time i liked everything that i picked out which is amazing in that itself but one of the wines that stood out for me was the Cabernet Sauvignon that I got from Vampire Vineyards. That was one of my favorites. So I enjoyed it so much that I actually went on their website, which I will link below. The website is amazing. Of course, if you like wine, otherwise, if you don't like wine, you probably won't think too much about it. But they have awesome, awesome wine packages. If you are someone that likes to have like a little girl's night or little wine tasting parties, they have got different packages that they've already got put together for you so it comes with a couple of bottles of wine some of them have wine glasses with a vampire log logo on it some of them have coffee for to have some coffee when you're done with your wine they have like chocolate covered gummies that come in some of them it's just amazing the wines you can get with capes or without capes it's just really fun they have got a ton of merchandise as well again from being able to get glassware and like shirts things like that and they've got uh, like jewelry and some trinkets and they've got different coffees and they've got some herbal teas and the chocolate covered gummies and candy bars they have just got all kinds of things they even have a mystery box that really has me intrigued it was a little too much money for me to to do this this time but who knows i may end up getting it for next halloween i think it was 179 dollars or maybe 149 dollars it came with like three bottles of wine and then some merchandise from their shop so it should be something that's fun and interesting they have got like the true blood line of wine, the vampire line that I tried. They've got a Dracula line and there might be another one. So they're all at different price levels, all different varietals. 
just something for everyone if you like wine. So I actually picked out a package. I picked out a wine that came with a novel. I got another bottle of wine and I got a glass so I could share that with you. So one of the wines that I got, which I'm not opening tonight, even though I'm thirsty, I wish I had this one ready, but this one is a sparkling rosé and this is from their Dracula line. So that should be a fun wine to have. The wine that I picked out to have is because I did like the Cabernet Sauvignon, but I didn't want to get it. I wanted to try something else in the line. I got the Vampire Pinot Noir. So I'm excited to try this one tonight. And for this, I've got a steak dinner and some potatoes. So excited to be sharing my dinner with you. And the glass that I got, and I just put this purple Ipsy bag in here to show the logo. So it's Vampire, the logo right there. And on the back, it says, Sip the Blood of the Vine. So that sounds great, doesn't it? Oh, so anyway, and then um, one of their employees, or she actually wrote a novel that's called A Walk in the Sun. And it's a vampire novel. So I thought that might be just kind of fun to have. It's a little short book. Should be fun. But anyway, so the, the book it says, Set in the late 1800s in both England and France, A Walk in the Sun is a passionate tale of love, anguish, guilt, and revenge told through the eyes of Nicholas Justine. Nicholas, a lo lonely mortal, born into wealth, yet neglected from birth, is transformed into a naive young vampire, desperately trying to deal with his sudden and mortal curse. 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 <laughs> I can't believe I can't say that word. Curse. He clings onto the hopes of marrying his Elena. Hmm. What if it's the same Elena from the Vampire Diaries? Did anybody else watch that series? Did you go back and forth over which brother of the Salvatore brothers was more handsome, Stefan or Damon? I went back and forth through the whole series for me. Alrighty. So his marrying his Elena, a beautiful and compassionate mortal. Their love becomes an unbreakable bond as Nicholas struggles to comprehend his newfound powers and curse. Only a force greater than himself could threaten his life and the woman he adores. Be it fate or the devil, a challenge unleashed, unleashed when suddenly Elena and Nicholas come face to face with the ruthless and cunning Count Victor de Fay. A master of the occult, de Fay is a follower of the left-hand path, a black magician driven by greed and the power to prevail. His attraction to Elena leads the vampire and the devil's chosen disciple to duel like no other. Will Dufay destroy Nicholas? Will Elena's love overpower evil? Full of plot twists and turns, this story takes you on an emotional journey that'll capture your heart and awaken your soul. Through joy and sorrow, passion and hate, and bittersweet enchantment, this vampire thriller will keep you turning pages to find out more. Alrighty, so that sounds like a really fun book to have. So anyway, on to my dinner. So for the baked potatoes, I, you know, I cheated, and I got this little bird's eye entree. It's a loaded potato bake. Put it in the microwave, it's good to go, right? So that'll be a couple of meals right there. Well, you know, side meals. The steak, I got a T-bone steak. They, I just got a thin one because I knew I wasn't going to be cooking outside. And so I just wanted something quick. And I have this still. So from Tastefully Simple, it's a Bayou Bourbon Glaze. And so when I bought it um, earlier in the week, I put this in a Ziploc bag with the steak that I had poked all kinds of holes in. Put it in there. I put it in the freezer until I was ready to take it out today. Took it out and bought it. It looks... It was, it's really, really dark. It looks burned, but it is just how it looks. So we got the potatoes on one side. 
and we got that stake on the other and I cut a few pieces and oh, I have not devoured it because it smells amazing but let's open this wine shall we oh my gosh so I like I said I have just had so much fun with you guys this month it's just been an amazing amazing time I did not realize how many costumes I had and I have got them laid out in the guest bed and I'm just trying to keep them all together and I got different storage bags to put them in so I don't have them some I had downstairs in boxes some I had upstairs in boxes some I had hanging up in my closet some I had hanging up in the closet in the hallway so I put them out on the bed in the guest room and guess who's coming over on Tuesday I'm getting to have Mr. Griffin for a whole week so I could get it off because he likes to lay on that bed so he can look outside because that's the when the bedroom that faces the street all right so checking this out and it's kind of like a light kind of purpley red you can see it right through it it does have legs i think this is a 13.5 percent alcohol and i'm really looking forward to doing a little giveaway with you guys so i hope you stick around for that it smells amazing ah so it smells like cherry maybe some strawberry smells sweet so anyway cheers everyone happy halloween thanks so much for spending all these days with me i appreciate you guys so much cheers mm. it's really it's as good as a cabernet sauvignon was it's a little bit warm probably because i've had it out for a while so those flavors are just really intense so it's like strawberry it's like cherry but there's a smoky kind of flavor to it too um i can't really describe it kind of a smoky kind of texture like a bourbon or a cognac or something like that maybe it was aged in those kind of barrels i'm just gonna have another little sip mm. that is nice it's got a nice smooth finish I'm not going to say it's a full body, but maybe light to medium, but it's got a really nice texture. Not really that dry. I mean, it's got some tannins, so it dries a little bit, but the acidity from the fruit kicks in, but it's not enough to make your mouth go water, so you don't have to worry about spittling, spittle on everyone, but it's just a really nice flavor. So anyway, I'm just going to have a bite of my steak. Mm. that is a really good marinade it's got some really nice flavor potatoes are nice they're cheesy i think there's broccoli in there too but it's a little so i can eat it i don't like big chunks of broccoli it kind of freaked me out mm. Alrighty, so good. So anyway, for my giveaway, and this is just going to fit into the large UPS box for the ship. So this will be in here. It's this handbag that I got in my BoxyCharm Lux by Henny and Lib. So it's this really nice caramel color for fall. And to help keep it shape, I've got the Boxy Lux box in here. So again, it's going to go into that UPS box, but it's going to be jam-packed. So I'll put a note on it. So when you open it, be careful that you don't go in too deep with a knife because you will scratch that bag. So I'll put in this box in there to help keep the shape. And we have got it filled with some product in here and we got some items that are loose but I've also if I can get this out without taking everything out I put in this little cosmetic bag and we have that 
filled with items as well. I do have a palette in here that I was thinking of keeping, but I know I'm not going to use it. I hope I don't ruin it when I open it again. It's a Natasha Denona palette. And the colors in here are just really, really beautiful. So it does have this palette in here. So I think this is a really nice palette for fall, but I think with those cooler colors, it would be a nice one that you can get some nice uh, spring, some summer looks as too. And I think I've got that another two of that uh, other palette in here. I happen to get two of these. Um, one from BoxyCharm and one from Ipsy, that Natasha Denona. The blush and highlighted one. And actually, I did not think I was going to use it. And I stuck my ring in there when I opened it, so I kept it. But I'm actually wearing that blush today, so it's better than what I thought. So we've got that in there and a couple of other things in here. So anyway, for the giveaway. And I like to kind of keep things simple. Um, so if you just put enter me and just go back and tell me what your favorite costume was that I wore. That should be enough, right? So it doesn't mean you have to go back and watch every video if you didn't. Just um, if you just kind of glance at them and let me know what your favorite costume was that I wore. And just say enter me and you will be entered. And again, so the standard rules apply that um, this isn't affiliated with um, YouTube or BoxyCharm or Ipsy. Some of these things I think were from Bino. It's just different things that I got in boxes that I know I'm not going to use, but I know it's something that someone else will love. So, and to me, um, so you see in this on 31st, how about if we just go to two weeks into November? So on November 14th, I'll close it sometime during the day, probably while I'm at working, I'll close it and just uh, take the names. You do have to have a uh, U.S. mailing address. So if you are from out of the country, but you know someone that's here that you can have it sent to, you as long as I have that address, I can send it to them. You do have to be 18 years or older. Um, once at least my hands, um, it'll go through the U.S. Postal Service. I won't, if it gets lost, stolen, or damaged, I won't be able to replace everything. And I'll just have that in my description box below as well. And it's just my way of thanking you guys for the support that you've shown me all year long. And again, it's this, and I keep wanting to call it Henny and Rue. I have no idea where I got the Henny and Rue from. It's Henny and Liv, but it's this really nice uh, cognac color or maybe a caramel color. So it's a nice little tote bag. I happen to have a couple of bags in that color, so it's something I know I'm not going to use, but it's really nice for fall. And while we're here, let's do the candy. So I have no idea what which one I'm on. Um, how about if I just pick one? Um, let's just go to, let's go to, is it one to 30? 31? Well, we'll do 18. It's right here. Oh, this one's a big one. This is a big one. I can't get it out. Alrighty. It's Nutella. So it's breadsticks and the Nutella. So that'd be a cute little good little snack. So that was my candy this month or this month today. And I've got my wine to finish. I got my steak. I got my potatoes. But I might as well show you this costume of the day. This collar is really hard. It, the costume is just from Amazon. I think I got it last year. So this might have got kind of, or two years ago maybe. So I tried to iron it and starch it, but I just can't get it to hook up. This cape here is also from Amazon. It does have a hood. It's red on the inside, black on the outside. The dress is also from Amazon. And so it's just a little, it's a little crooked. I don't know how it goes with these bows here. You've got these fun sleeves with lace. It's kind of like a fake velvet. And then this taffeta on the bottom with some lace. The skirt has some lace and it is a floor length gown. It's very, very warm. But anyway, so that is my happy Halloween video for you guys. I want to thank you again for all the support, the love that you've shown me this month. It's been truly an amazing month. I had so much fun doing these videos with you guys. 
the next month's going to be hard to just come back as plain boring old old Nancy. I'm just, I'm already depressed thinking about it. But anyway, thank you guys so much. I hope you had a great time. Have a great week, everyone. Be kind. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. I love you guys so much. And we will see you in the next video.